Well, good morning, wonderful people. This is Dr. Tuesday. I pray you are having a great day. So I went to the track, the park, and I walked uh, four miles, and it was my goal to do uh, twice around, which would have been, I think, four and a half or something like that. But I got a call and I had to leave. So I'm finishing up my walk here in our community and thought to talk to you this morning. You know, I used to do these um, about a year or two ago and life happened, it got away from me. And so my goal is to walk in the many in 2017 for my 50th for my Jubilee. So that's what I'm hoping to do. So I'm starting um, this journey of getting out to walk uh, every day prayerfully here. And then in the fall, I do want to work with a trainer maybe, uh, someone that can uh, really get me ready to walk in that many. I did it for my 40th and um, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I, I had my 40th birthday party that evening and so I got off the, the uh, ended it early somewhere and left and went and um, prepared for my party. So this year it's my goal to walk in the many for 2017 for my 50th birthday jubilee. So anybody with me? Y'all want to do it? So if you know someone who trains people um, for the many I'm not running, so don't be trying to get me out there trying to kill me, okay? But to prepare me to walk, um, inbox me their name, or if it's you, inbox me your information. And, um, yeah, let's help get me ready for that. So, um, also, 52 weeks of faith. Well, you know, I've been a little laxed on that, too, so please forgive me. So, to catch up, my 52 weeks of faith, I believe I'm probably at about week 45 or maybe 44 and my 52 weeks of faith was my girl talk with dr tuesday it was wonderful we ran out of chairs y'all we had to bring chairs in and put chairs on the corners and it was such a blessing to sit with these women and they share and i share and they allow me to share and to speak into their lives and it was probably I don't know, maybe five, six, seven years ago, it was prophesied to me that I was to bring women together in smaller settings, not so much about what I do from the pulpit or what I do as a trainer or a speaker uh, speaking out into audiences, but really bringing women together into smaller settings to impart. And uh, so under the uh, encouragement of my dear sister friend uh, Brandy who's getting ready to leave me she's getting married we're so excited for her but she's leaving ah! she's moving to Atlanta so we're gonna let her husband take her with him and her children so but under her encouragement I went ahead and put girl talk together and it was a blessing there were most of the women who were there I did not know them I had never met these women and some of them said they had been following me on social media, Facebook, um, for years and was hoping for an opportunity to just come into a place and a space. Um, and, and that's only God, because there's nothing special about me or any of us who have any type of call, anointing, the hand of God on our lives, that people even want to be in our presence. I mean, really. We know sometimes we don't even want to be in our presence, but I want to say to someone today, there is someone waiting on you. They are waiting on you and you got to move. You got to do what God has told you to do. I believe in the timing of the Lord. I have friend girls who say Tuesday, I ain't never seen nobody that can wait on the Lord like you until God says go. And sometimes that waiting can be frustrating um, because you do want to go, but God wants you to finish, and he wants you to finish strong. He doesn't want the false starts, the putt-putt of bad gas. Holy hallelujah. Bad gas being in your car, or you not knowing how to drive a stick. And so you putt, you know, you do that back and forth thing. So I just encourage you to seek God and move when he says move. Go when he says go. Stop when he says stop. Be still when he says be still. But it was such a blessing. And then 
That sister Angela Felix came in and tore it up in song, singing a cappella. No, a cappella. It was just beautiful. The women were beautiful. The atmosphere was beautiful. We were at Bravo's this time, but not sure where we'll be next month, which will be August the 12th. And uh, Sister Sharon uh, Bunny will be uh, blessing us in song at that uh, girl talk. So no price change. It'll be the same. And so um, just believing God that it'll continue to grow and, and we'll be able to, um, again, just be women, mature women coming together. You know, the server said something and I didn't get a chance to tell the ladies this, but she said, I don't think I've ever had a group of professional women as courteous and kind as you all were. She was like, it was so, it was such a pleasure to serve you all. Okay, all y'all black women, 20 black women, about 20, 21, including me or something like that, 22. Yeah, hallelujah, we know. <laughs> So that was her compliment to us. So we thank God for that. And then Sister Van Horn just blessed me. I'm telling you, she just texted me and said, hey, what time you need to be there? I said, oh, leave at 530. How you getting? I'm going to drive. Let me pick you up. This woman showed up in a stretch limousine. You know, that's her company. But I'm like, what? Why are you? She said, Tuesday, I believe in you. That y'all that blessed me. That had me almost in tears. Don't nobody got to be nice to you. They sure ain't got to take their service that they could be getting paid for to part and part into you. Hallelujah. She said, I believe in you. I believe in the call and the gift on your life and what God is doing. So I want to bless you. Hallelujah to the King. God is faithful. So I look forward to prayerfully you joining us uh, next month, August the 12th. We may or may not go back to Bravo's. We may, um, I looked at the Eagle in um, on Mass Ave, and so maybe we'll go there. I love their food. They have a very quaint back room there, so maybe we'll go there, but parking is so uh, But we may go back to Bravo's or we'll try somewhere else. So just stay locked to my page and uh, look at um, Eventbrite put in Girl Talk again August 12th, and it'll be out there. It'll be on Facebook events, and so um, my 52 Weeks of Faith. My girl talk. And then just to give you an update, uh, this Sunday, um, is that the 17th? I will be ministering at Healing Streams. Praise God, my pastor is um, releasing me to share. And uh, the word that God is stirring around in my body is God has a better yes for you. Jesus, don't. Okay, wait a minute. Woo, hallelujah, that hit me. Hallelujah, God has a better yes for you. You thought that yes was something? God has a better yes for you. So, Let's see if he says for me to go on with that word. And then by the end of this week, I do, hallelujah, I do plan to have the answer for my speaker for my first women's conference, 3G Women's Ministry Conference. Uh, it will be in November. I'm thinking November 11th and 12th. Uh, the speaker is bad to the bone, truly a prophetess of this generation flows in the gifts, gifts of healing, gifts of prophecy, gifts of deliverance. She says, yes, it's going to be on and popping. My goal for that conference is 100 women, but certainly if God wants to stretch us out to do more, we say yes, Lord. So um, we are absolutely believing that she will be able to be a part Friday night will be worship and preaching. It will be open to the public. Saturday morning, have something really special in mind and want to kind of solidify it, certainly before I communicate it. And then we will have worship and preaching. And then we will have our workshops. There will be lunch in there somewhere. <laughs> and then we will go home. So for those of you who register to be a part of the full conference, you will have preferred seating even for the people who will come from the community, pastors and first ladies and things that I'm certainly welcoming them to come Friday evening. Um, those of you who register, you certainly will have your preferred seating. Amen. And then those of you who are my ambassadors, who's going to help me move this thing and get people there, um, I will be inboxing you or emailing you as soon as I get a confirmation uh, from the speaker and we get our flyer done. Amen. So, Y'all like my little hat? I found this in my drawer. 
And it's not even hot, girl. Y'all, I'm having them personal summer moments. But I'm not having one out here. What's that about? So we thank God. So I think I've accomplished my five miles from the morning between walking on the over there at the park and then out here in the neighborhood. So I just want to encourage you. These glasses are very dark when you look into them. And the Lord spoke to me when I was on the trail. He said, they're dark when you look into them, but when you look out of them, they're very clear. And so that is what we have been facing in our country, in our community. Things look very dark when we're looking at them. They look very dark when we look into them. Uh, the things that have been in the media with Minnesota and Louisiana and Dallas and we go all the way back to St. Louis and Florida and all of these things that started hitting the media uh, with Trayvon back in 2013, 2012, 2013, 2012. And so, 2013. And so, um, things look very dark, but in the light of God's grace, in the light of his beauty, in the light of his truth and his creation, we can have hope. We can have hope if we look through things through the word, if we look through things through faith, we take a different perspective because God is in control. None of this caught him off guard. And God said, I am the God who will avenge. He's a God of justice. He is the great judge who sits high and looks low. So none of this surprises him. So I encourage you, look at everything through the lens of God, through the clear lens of God, because he is the lamp unto your feet and the light unto your path. He will direct your path, and he is the hope of glory. So be encouraged today. God bless you.